Hey YouTube, okay. I'm in the car. I just got through finish eating my breakfast at the Atlanta Breakfast Clubs. Ooh, that place was so good. So I told I just got through talking to him. He must be the owner. And I was telling him how I enjoyed his meal. And, you know, <clears throat> I said, next time I come, I'm just not here just to pick up food. So he said, you know, he's glad that I came. Real handsome man, too. You know? But this place has only been open for a year. I was like, really? And then I, you know, but I had to give compliments. Because there's very few places that I've ever gone to that I actually give compliments on the food. The service was great. The food was delicious. I had the chicken and waffles. Now, I know you couldn't hear, hear me. Because it was so um, crowded. But this place, you know, I didn't even catch the hours. But they said it closed at 3 o'clock. But I was like, ooh, the breakfast was delicious. You know, so I asked him about it. I said, you know, I said, your waffles, it just got this, you know, this, ooh, it's so delicious. He says, oh, we don't just use regular old waffle mix. They make their own waffles with, um, you didn't tell me the secret. And then the chicken breast it was like nice and moist and oh that was the best I'm telling y'all if y'all see all my previous videos you would see but Osiris he's the owner of the Atlanta Breakfast Club give you a two thumbs up two thumbs up five thumbs five in all my hands Ooh, that was delicious so we're gonna have to one day you know Ubele Charlotte, I know you appreciate this place. When you ever come to Atlanta, I will take you out and we're going to go out to Southern Breakfast Atlanta Breakfast Club. You know, it's right across the street from the Georgia Aquarium and, you know, the major downtown attractions in Atlanta. Shoot, hell, you can even take Uber and just come on down here. But this is a good, ooh, excellent place. I'm gonna have to keep. I'm gonna keep this place right in my mind, and I'll be coming here for breakfast. At least I would say, I don't say once a. I'll come here once a month. I ain't. I ain't can't come every week, you know. But no more Waffle House for Teresa. I can tell you that, and most definitely no more IHOP. We're going to come straight back. We're going to come straight here for breakfast. So the next time, me, Giovanni, who else is my little breakfast crew that we used to always go out to eat all the time? Roy. Yeah, I used to have like a, I used to have a group of people. I always go out eating all the time. And we always be sitting there. Where you want to go to eat at? Where you want to go to eat breakfast? Oh, let's go to IHOP. You know, <laughs> Bump, bump that. We're going to start making our trips to local, you know, support local businesses. You know, that's where you're going to get the good value from. Good food, good service. You know, you find a spot. Shoo. Little breakfast and lunch. I don't know what they serve for the lunch menu, but I can tell you. This place looks, you know, it's a smaller place, but I can tell you, it looks like it stays crowded over here. You know, it's been a long time since I ate something that good. Really, that was good. I'm telling you. The chicken breast, it was nice and moist. And the <clears throat> Belgian waffles, it was just nice and fluffy and and... The combination of the syrup with the chicken breast and the waffle. Ooh, that was good. Man, I'm so dang stuff. I gotta go and work this off now. And and looking at all the other people's orders and plates, I didn't know what they got, but I don't know. Somebody gotta tell me another place that could possibly be better than this one for breakfast at least. But this would be a good place to go, go out as a group. 
I think next time when I have some people come in town and say, let's go to breakfast, we coming straight down here. But there's some other places too. But, you know, I could tell this is a black-owned business. You know, and that's what I want to support. Good black-owned businesses. You know, a place that still has its... <clears throat> And that's a true southern breakfast. You know. I've seen a lot of different restaurants. And people try to put a southern twist to it. But. You know. They want to make grits. And put. You know. All kind of crazy stuff in grits. Truffle oil. With grits. And. You know. They just can't make a simple breakfast. Sometimes people overdo it. Let's make it nice and simple. But I know one thing. We are coming. I'm coming back to this place again. So. Ubele, Charlotte. I wish you were here. I know you would appreciate good food. Good little spot. And then he said he only been here for a year. Dumb. Somebody need to call the Food Network channel and just come to Atlanta just to showcase this place more but I know one thing if it wasn't a Food Network channel <clears throat> or best places to eat somebody gotta put this one on the list cause I don't know I can't think of any other place uh, I heard it, two thumbs up and all the other places but this got this place got it all and it used to be a seafood place. No, it was a Philly and cheese steak place or something. And it says only, you know, that's what it used to be at this location, he said. <clears throat> I don't know why that place didn't survive, but I'm glad that this one's here. And it's in a very good location, too. Now, I can't say much for traffic because once they finish this thing construction, and then next door is going to be a a hotel now you know they're gonna be once this hotel finish they're gonna be popping this is an excellent location they picked across the street from Georgia Aquarium not too far from all the other places Ugh. you know I ain't never talked about one place this long but I enjoyed it and I will be back. See you later.